medicine honors organ donors for saving lives. As part of Living Donor Day, people gathered for a flag raising ceremony Wednesday outside Durham Outpatient Center. And a man who received two liver transplants had the honor of raising that flag. The gift of life is uh, something that really you have the opportunity and, and chance to impact somebody's life for um, the better. Uh, and, you know, the things that it has given me the opportunity to be a father, to be a husband, you know, that opportunity I wouldn't have been able to have if it wasn't for organ donations. Oh. More than 6,500 Americans donated one of their kidneys or part of their liver in 2021. Welcome back, everybody. 622 right now. Giving someone a new chance at life. Nebraska Medicine honored living organ donors with a two-time liver transplant recipient raising a ceremonial flag. It's part of Donate Life Living Donor Day. It was held yesterday. Living donation helps with the amount of people on the national transplant waiting list. It can also help patients receive a donation while they're healthier and better able to withstand the surgery. A patient who received two liver transplants spoke about the importance of donating. The gift of life and donating an organ uh, is too awesome really to pass up. The things that it has given me the opportunity to be a father, to be a husband, you know, that opportunity I wouldn't have been able to have if it wasn't for organ donations. Nebraska Medicine says many living donors refer to the experience as one of their most rewarding. Giving someone a new chance at life, Nebraska Medicine honored living organ donors today with a two-time liver transplant recipient raising a ceremonial flag. It's part of Donate Life Living Donor Day. Living donation helps with the amount of people on the national transplant waiting list. It can also help patients receive a donation while they're healthier and better able to withstand the surgery. A patient who received two liver transpla transplants spoke to the importance of donating. The gift of life and donating an organ uh, is too awesome really to pass up. The things that it has given me the opportunity to be a father, to be a husband, you know, that opportunity I wouldn't have been able to have if it wasn't for organ donations. Nebraska Medicine says many living donors refer to the experience as one of their most rewarding achievements. 42 News at 9. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Monty Torres. Today it's what's called Living Donor Day. It honors those who are alive and gave their organ or tissue to help save the life of someone else. As Fox 42's Joe Harris tells us, one facility marked the occasion with a very special guest. Nebraska Medicine staff members celebrated Living Donor Day. As part of it, a flag honoring living donors was raised on its campus. The person who did the honor was two-time liver transplant recipient Tyler Gassaway. It's an opportunity to just be here and thank the people who have helped me and care for me over the past, you know, five or six years. Gassaway says his first transplant from his mother in 2018 didn't work out. He says it was tough going through it twice, but that he had faith in the team at Nebraska Medicine, even moving to Omaha from Portland to receive care. It was a tough road, but it was made easier knowing that I had this kind of world-class team uh, here taking care of me. The Mayo Clinic says liver and kidney transplants are the most common living donor procedures, although living people can also donate skin, bone marrow, and blood-forming cells. Organs from living donors reduces the number of people on the waiting list for transplants from deceased donors, and they have less complications. Doctors at Nebraska Medicine say organ donation is an incredible and thoughtful gift. I think what people do in that generous spirit is just a testament to the human condition, that people can make these sorts of sort of gifts to people they don't know under really challenging circumstances. It's a gift that Gasaway says gives him the chance to be a father and husband. Reporting for Fox 42, I'm Joe Harris. Of course, blood is also critical for organ and tissue transplants. The Nebraska Community Blood Bank says it is dangerously low on O negative, which is the universal blood type. Giving someone a renewed chance at life. Nebraska Medicine honored living organ donors today with a two-time liver transplant recipient raising a ceremonial flag. It's part of Donate Life Living Donor Day. Living donation helps with the amount of people on the national transplant waiting list. It can also help patients receive a donation while they're healthier and better able to withstand the surgery. A patient who received two liver transplants spoke to the importance of donating. 
the gift of life and donating an organ uh, is too awesome really to pass up. The things that it has given me the opportunity to be a father, to be a husband, you know, that opportunity I wouldn't have been able to have if it wasn't for organ donations. Nebraska Medicine says many living donors refer to the experience as one of their most rewarding achievements. Nebraska Medicine honors organ donors for saving lives. As part of Living Donor Day, people gathered for a flag raising ceremony outside the Durham Outpatient Center. A man who received two liver transplants had the honor of raising the flag. The gift of life is uh, something that Really, you have the opportunity and, and chance to impact somebody's life for um, the better. Uh, and, you know, the things that it has given me the opportunity to be a father, to be a husband, you know, that opportunity I wouldn't have been able to have if it wasn't for organ donations. <laughs> More than 6,500 Americans donated one of their kidneys or part of their liver in 2021. 